Protecting livestock from predators is a problem faced by many African farmers. Recently, I met someone who solved a complex problem using simple technology and creativity. Kitengela is a village on the border of the Nairobi National Park. This peaceful rural part of Kenya is home to a remarkable young man who came up with an invention that would not only save cattle, but have a major impact on lion conservation. The lion and the human conflict has always been there, even when I was born. Masai were always killing lions. Richard Turere grew up herding his father's cattle here in Kitengela, where lions regularly came from the neighboring reserve to attack his family's livestock. So there's a border here, which is the river. The river is the border. So the lions just cross over. Now 15, Richard still spends time herding cows, but his real passion has always been technology. I, I love solving problems. I just wanted to know how stuff works. I remember I broke my mom's new radio and she got really very angry. She wanted to kill me, but, uh, <laughs> but I learned a lot about electronics. Richard is a local hero. His homegrown cattle protection invention has taken him across the oceans to California and back again. But his big idea originated right here among the cattle. We had a very big problem with the lions attacking our father's cows at night. Almost daily attacks on the community's livestock left Richard's family desperate. In the region, cows are the number one income generator for most families. Was there ever an attack while you were watching the cattle? Yeah, I, one day they attacked um, cows when I, was, when I was there and actually killed. Yeah, they never stopped coming. Richard was determined to come up with a solution to protect his father's cattle. He tried everything from lighting bonfires to scarecrows to electric fencing. Nothing worked. We tried so many things. One of them was this use of branches because we wanted to make a fence that when the lion comes at night, he, he would not be able to see the cows inside there. But it didn't work and they would just step on them and then inside, go inside and kill the animals. One night, he made an interesting discovery. So I discovered that the lions would not come if someone is patrolling around. So I made lights that um, will actually trick them that somebody was walking around, but they were not there. And so the solar-powered lion lights were born. So the solar is charging this battery. Richard figured out that by connecting LED lights to a solar-powered battery through an indicator from a motorbike, he could make the lights flash, mimicking a patroller's torch. So this is the... Oh, so this is one of the lion lights, yeah. Right. This is how the lions get tricked that I'm walking around with the lights. Because normally at night, when you walk with a torch, it looks like it's flashing. Because you're walking, your footsteps are making the lights look like it's flashing. It tricks the lens that you're always patrolling around and that time you've been in bed sleeping. So what did your parents say when they saw that you'd put all of this up and that it worked? I think their final word was they were just proud of me. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Since installing the first set of lion lights over two years ago, Richard's family haven't lost a single cow to lion attacks. And that was only the beginning. News of his invention spread quickly. First his neighbors and then farmers across the country started commissioning Richard to install their own lion lights. Around the same time, a group of conservationists from Wildlife Direct, led by Dr. Paula Kahumbo, were conducting research into lion attacks on homesteads. When they came across Richard's remarkable invention, they put him forward for a scholarship at a top private school in Kenya. With the scholarship secured, Richard then pitched for a coveted spot at the 2013 International TED Talk Conference in California, and won. Thanks. My community, the Maasai, they killed the lions. It's one of the six lions which were killed in Nairobi.
I used to eat lunch, but now because my invention is serving my father's cows and the lunch, we're able to stay with the lunch without any conflict. I used and to watch TED Talks, imagine, when I was a little boy, because uh, my dad liked watching them. So I'll watch them, and uh, I didn't imagine that one day I'll actually sit down and watch my own TED Talk.